Friends, if you want to grow leafy greens, there are multiple technology choices that you have. When it comes to hydroponics, there are typically two very prominent systems which are used. One is NFT system, the other is deep water culture. And then you can also choose to skip hydroponic and go a level up towards aeroponics, which increases the oxygen availability to the plant and helps in better yield. In this video, we'll show you all these three different kinds of systems. So the first one that we are going to talk to you and show to you is a deep water culture system. Now this is a deep water culture system. Why this system is known as deep water culture? Because there is a very deep layer of water in this system. Let me show you. There is a layer of water which is around six to seven inches deep and the roots of the plant are submerged totally in the water. The plants sort of float on the water and that's why this system is known as deep water culture system. In this kind of system, the nutrient is always available to the plant. Having said that, the roots are largely submerged in water. So there is no availability of oxygen to the roots. So in this kind of system, you need to make sure that you are providing ample oxygen to the roots through oxygenating the water at regular intervals. This kind of system is a very beautiful, low cost, low maintenance system and results in very good yield. Let us just look at one of the plants. This is one butterhead lettuce plant. Look at the roots. If you look at the roots closely, you will see they are very silky and shiny roots. And the plant is very healthy. This is around three and a half weeks old now. We have multiple such kind of racks or channels. This is one channel. This is another channel. You see, we are growing butterhead lettuce in this channel. This channel, we are growing Lolo Rosso lettuce. In this channel, along with the lettuce, we are also growing parsley. And then we are growing romaine. There are multiple such channels which are connected together. And this is a recirculating system, which means that the water which is in one raft, it goes, gets collected at a point and then gets recirculated in all the different rafts to make sure that all the plants get the right amount of nutrition and also the right amount of oxygenation. I hope this helps you understand and develop a basic understanding of deep water culture system. Now, let's look at another hydroponic system, which is NFT based system. So you had just seen a deep water culture system. This system is called NFT system, nutrient film technique. Now, why is it called nutrient film technique? Because if you look at these channels, there is always a very thin film of nutrient which you can see here, which is floating and maintained in these channels. You can look at the roots, how healthy they are in this kind of a system. Now, another thing to notice in this kind of system is since the lower part of roots is always submerged in water, but there is a upper part which is in air. The amount of oxygenation required is little less because the roots can directly draw oxygen from the air itself. This plant is romaine lettuce which is growing in the NFT systems. If you are growing for NFT kind of a system, you will have choice of different kind of channels. Generally, you can go for closed channels which are cheap, but I would strongly recommend against going for such channels. Now this is a channel which you can open. By opening the channel with such an ease, you can always check on the health of the plant. Also, after every other cycle, you will need to clean the system. For example, you can see a bit of algae formation here. Wherever there is water and nutrient, after some cycle, algae will form. In a closed channel, there is no other way to clean the algae, but to use chemicals and acids, which you have to run through the channels again and again. And it increases the cost of maintenance. It also increases the time it takes to reset the system and start it again. So if you are going for NFT kind of a system, make sure you go for a channel which is openable. This is NFT system in a plain level where all the plants are in same level. This is called as a flatbed system. Now let me show you a A-frame system where we use vertical space. Now you have seen an NFT system in a flatbed orientation, which is in a horizontal same level. This particular orientation is called A-frame, wherein we are using the vertical space. Now, 
you see we are growing coriander in this a frame nft system and again you can look at the health of the roots and the health of the plant one limitation which an a frame system has is you can only grow plants which grow up to a small height lay say around 7 to 8 inches or 10 inches max because if you grow tall plants the center of gravity gets shifted and they can generally topple over and they also cast shadow on the lower plants so we have already seen the two kind of hydroponic systems the deep horticulture system and the nft system now let's look at another technology aeroponics in hydroponic system the roots of the plant are in water and hence the word hydro and hydroponics in an aeroponic system on the contrary the roots of the plant are suspended in air this is an aeroponic system we are growing normal indian local spinach in this aeroponic system and let me show you the roots of the plant in aeroponic system since the roots are always exposed to oxygen the amount of availability of oxygen is very very high as compared to hydroponic and the growth is much higher having said that this kind of system needs high amount of automation and it is slightly costlier to set up as compared to a hydroponic system but it increases the growth rate of plant by up to 30% thereby covering for the cost the additional investment that goes into it by achieving better revenue and better yields so friends in this video you have seen three different kind of systems for growing leafy greens you have seen a deep horticulture system you have seen an nft system in a flatbed orientation and also in an a frame orientation and you have also seen an aeroponic system which one of these is best well the answer to this is something which can only be found by experimentation and the beauty of the way we have set up this entire system is that all of these farms all of these growing systems are getting the same amount of nutrient from the same recirculating system and they are housed in the same environment and all of this is controlled by the proprietary technology that we have developed which helps us in providing the right kind of solution for the right kind of crop for the right kind of climate to our customers so guys if you want to set up farms which are highly profitable and which uses technology to optimize the cost and increase your revenue do reach out to us and we will try to help you to the best of our abilities thank you and keep watching our channel thanks